Hi hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Rajesh Yadav and in today's video I am going to cover intro questions asked in 2023. Let's move on to the next slide. This is about me and my experience. So guys, if you want to learn SAS, you can contact me on my WhatsApp number or you can email me. Let's move on to the next slide. So guys, if you are preparing for SAS interview, then you can take a session. You can contact me on WhatsApp or you can email me. Let's move on to the first question. Find out the errors in below program. So here we are creating two data sets cars copy and Audi cars then using SAS help dot cars data set as input data set first OBS equal yes creating a new variable called brand and then using sub str function then using output statement and writing the output to cars copy data set and not writing anything to this data set. So you need to find out where is the error. Let's see the answer first error is in this statement first obvious equal should be a numeric value and that value should be less than or equal to the total observation of this data set. You cannot give a first obvious equal value that is more than the total observation of this data set. Then second error is in this sub str we are using one extra argument here that is not required. So error is too many arguments so you need to remove this. So here you will see we are having only three arguments and then output statement there is no error. So if you are not giving this data set name that is fine. So observation will be written into this data set only. So these are the errors. Let's move on to the next slide. How many observations will be there in data set Audi cars. So the same program I am using here and this time this question was asked. Audi underscore cars how many observation will be there. So in the output statement we are not using this one. That means this data set will have zero observations. However there is no errors. So what this data set will have apart from zero observation. This data set will have all the variables that are present in this data set and also this data set will have one more variable brand that we are newly creating but it will have zero observation. See the answer. Data set OD cars will have zero observation in all the columns of SAS help dot cars along with new column brand above program will copy the descriptor portion of SAS help dot cars in OD cars data set. So here OD cars will have descriptor portion of the SAS help dot car that means all the columns it will have along with the new column. I hope this is clear. Let's move on to the next question. So guys this question is almost all the time interviewer has asked to me. So the question is using below input data set attach manager name for each employee. So here is the input data set employee name ID and manager ID and the output data set that we need to generate is name ID manager ID and the manager name. So we want manager name from this. So this should be solved using self join. So if you see here for the person cook ID is 383 and manager ID is 222. So if we go and see the 222 so this ID is for William. So William is the manager of cook. So here cook ID 383 manager ID this and William should be attached here. So this is what we want and this should be solved using self join. Let's see how we solve this. So answer is we are creating table employee manager as select a dot star b dot name as manager and from employee as a left join employee. So you can see we are using same table this employee table two times employee and employee and then we are giving a dot manager ID equal b dot ID. So this manager ID we are comparing with this ID when both the IDs matches then it will be picked as manager and then I am just sorting this by name. So this is the self join and we have solved this. If you do not understand it completely try to remember it. Let's move on to the next question. What are the various ways to create macro variables in SAS? So this question is always asked whatever interview I have given. So these are the various ways to answer this percent let statement percent local statement percent global statement calls input routine calls input x routine percent do loop using into clause in proc SQL passing parameters in SAS. So here when you answer this you should be aware about all these options if you answer these eight because there is most likely people can ask interview on any of these options. All right let's move on to the next question. What is the difference between calls input and calls input X routine? 
so this question is always asked so answer is both routines are used to create macro variables in data step however calls input x additionally removes leading and trailing blanks so this is the main difference apart from this there is another additional thing that calls input x provides that is provides options to create local and global macro variables so calls input x is more advanced more useful so we should use calls input x over calls input i hope you are clear about these questions let's move on to the next that's it guys in this session if you like these questions please hit the like button or subscribe my channel or you can comment on what topic you want me to create videos and what you like about these questions what you didn't like about this you can mention in the comment sections that way i'll get to know that what is good and what is bad all right guys we will meet in the next session till that time bye and take care